Support for the world. Um, they brought me out here, and I'm gonna be working with uh, with Manrique, with Carlos. Now, mm -hmm. he's an absolutely amazing guy. He's been out here in Nepal for um, a couple years now. Mm -hmm. um, I think going on six six years back and forth um, <laughs> with Samuel Jones. Uh, shout out to my guys uh, Samuel and uh, Eddie. But we're having a conversation, uh, and they were like, "Man, you you can play basketball. Why don't you why don't you go and try to do it?" So I initially went to Argentina, and I was going to play in Pinero. Mm -hmm. um, and then, <laughs> and for me, I'm, I move on good energy and positive vibes, man. If I, if I don't feel a positive vibe, if I don't mm -hmm. feel good energy, then I can't do business with somebody. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter that I'm here should show that. Mm -hmm. um, but they're going to grow up. They're going to keep playing basketball. Mm -hmm. And eventually they're going to inspire the youth. Mm -hmm. And just keeping a steady flow of having somebody come out here, even us taking people from here. Wave, Splash of the Wave. I have a, I have a clothing line in America named Splash of the Wave. Uh, shout out to my guys, Eddie and uh, Sam. <laughs> but... Um, and it's it's just it's just the the concept of Hello everyone, it's good afternoon time and welcome to Action Sports SD's regular talk show sports hour. You are watching Nepal's one and only first sports television. I am the your host Hembra Smart presenting with our exciting guest. He's from Spain and his name is Marky Smith, as also known as Splashy. He's from Spain in here in Nepal it's for uh, Worlds for sports for world are organizing in uh, our basketball tournament in this first February in Nepal, which is which is holding on uh, Dasarath Stadium National Covered Hall. It will be also live broadcast from uh, our uh, TV Action Sports SD. And definitely, I'll uh, I would like to welcome guest. I would like to welcome him in our show. So please welcome uh, Marky Smith. So welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. So what's about you? I'm doing really good, man. Happy to be out here. Okay. So, um, uh, where have you been in Nepal? How, how many uh, time you spent here? here? Well, uh, I got in yesterday um, and I've been in K-Town <laughs> the whole time. I, I was able to go see the Monkey Temple yesterday, uh, oh. last night. But uh, I haven't been out here for a long time, but I absolutely love it. I was able to um, go see two different schools today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's absolutely amazing experience. I'm you happy went, to be here. You went in Monkey Temple? Yeah. For the Yeah, it was so nice. Uh, so nice. That, uh, that is the, our, one of the best history and heritage site of Nepal. Yeah. Okay. I was able to do the... Uh, it's like the... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got it. It took me a little bit. It took me like six times, but I got it. Uh -huh. I was able to get it. So, uh, you are a professional basketball player. Yes, sir. And you are a professional uh, dunker as well. Mm -hmm. uh, context of this uh, tournament, this which is held in, on this February 1st in mm -hmm. our Nepal. So, uh, what are your expectations and uh, what do you think about uh, that more something about that uh, program? Well, um, first off, it's going to be absolutely amazing event, um, support for the world. Um, they brought me out here and I'm going to be working with uh, with Manrique, with Carlos. And, uh, mm -hmm. He's an absolutely amazing guy. He's been out here in Nepal for um, a couple years now. Mm -hmm. um, I think going on six, six years, back and forth. Uh, so we're going to be doing the event, uh, helping uh, to raise funds and, and do stuff to help bring clean water here, uh, here to the city, which is which is going to be great. Uh, I'm like you said, I'm a professional basketball player, so um, I, I do a lot of different events. I play professionally um, with the FIBA league, but um, apart from that, I'm the dunk champion. I'm I think nine-time dunk champion um, in Spain. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of different events. I get called to to do big-time events, and mm -hmm. um, anytime we could do something where it's basketball, it's going to be kids, and we're going to be doing it for a good cause. It's always going to be absolutely amazing. So we've been uh, listed in draft NBA. Uh, yeah. Yeah. In 2015. 2015. Uh, so, yeah. So I um I initially left college in 2010, mm -hmm. um and then I went um to, I went to Campbell University my freshman year. Mm -hmm. um, then in my sophomore year I transferred and went to uh, Kaskaskia, um, where I played D1 junior college basketball. Um, mm -hmm. Ended up getting hurt playing at a couple other schools and. Um, I think in 2014, it was my last year playing, um, but um, my name became eligible for the draft in 2015. So, um, so it, it, it was eligible, but I didn't get drafted. But I wasn't playing basketball at the time, um, and I was just having a conversation with a good friend of mine, with Samuel Jones. Uh, shout out to my guys, uh, Samuel and uh, Eddie. But we're having a conversation, uh, and they were like, man, you, you can play basketball. Why don't, you, why don't you go and try to do it? So I initially went to Argentina, and I was going to play in Pinero. Mm -hmm. um, and then after talking with a lot of my mentors, they were saying, man, if you get good offers to play in Pinero, you should definitely go to Spain and play basketball. I went to Spain, and uh, I ended up playing uh, with a team uh, with 
But I'm in Mataro, in Boy mm -hmm. Mataro, and uh, we ended up winning the championship. I played with uh, some great players out there um, mm -hmm. under Coach Pena. Played with Mark Rubio, Ricky Rubio's brother. Was able to make an amazing, um, amazing uh, connection with them and the family. Mm -hmm. Now we're we're all like uh, <laughs> we're all like family. So uh, from there, just um, doing a lot of different basketball plays mm -hmm. and whatnot, um, I got a lot of popularity. Um, became dunk champion my first year. Um, followed it up, uh, and then since then I just been it's just been like a, like a constant role of being able to uh, just do amazing things, man. Being in amazing situations like this. Mm -hmm. So how was your initial days? How was your family response and um, your family, your royal resource? Huh? Uh, I think when I first initially when I first went to Argentina, like I'm always my my mom and dad have always been behind me. Um, all of my family has always been behind me as far as um, whatever I put my mind to, I'll be able to succeed at. Um, mm -hmm. I got family in Chicago, family in uh, South Carolina, and they've always been like. You know, like you, whatever you want to do, you can do. And they always knew that ever since I was little, basketball was like a really big thing mm -hmm. for me. And uh, yeah, so the the initial response um, when I was, mm -hmm. because I've been successful mm -hmm. in, a, in a decent amount of things, the initial response was like it always is. Like, you know, you're out there for a reason. God put you out there and uh, and everything just happened in the way it's supposed to. So yeah, my family's been behind me 100% and mm -hmm. I love them for that. Mm -hmm. How difficult is uh, being in district in NBA or uh, uh, whenever a uh, professional basketball wants his career, uh, grow, grow up his career in, um, in a uh, very fast in track way. Uh, uh, so how difficult was that you've been uh, first, when you've been first uh, listed in NBA uh, draft? Uh, so what is your mind? What is your, uh, what, what were your thoughts? I think um, initially, uh Cause I played um, when I was in Kaskaskia, I played with um, a gentleman who I called Big Ron. Mm -hmm. uh, I was like 6'10", uh, 6'10 center from Chicago. And uh, he had called me up and he was saying, hey man, um, I'm doing some, uh, some stuff with this guy and he heard about you and they want to bring you out here to do a workout. Um, and that was when I came into the information uh, that the name, my name and stuff had went for the draft and this and that. And uh, I guess in the first it was kind of like confused, like I didn't really understand exactly how, how that whole system and stuff works. Because um, like I said, at that time I stopped playing basketball for three years mm -hmm. while I was at uh, the illustrious University of Fayetteville State. Um, mm -hmm. I wasn't playing basketball, but I was always doing something basketball related, whether it was just uh, pick, up gym, uh, pick up games mm -hmm. um, in the auxiliary gym or... Uh, just like being around the team, um, the, there was a lot of um, good, good people out there that kept me around basketball, or whether it was just playing uh, basketball on the weekends at the military base with, uh, with Kate, or uh, just being around, being around that. And so um, it wasn't difficult for me to, mm -hmm. to go right back into yeah. being, yeah. being a basketball player. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I think I had always kept good shape, just try to make sure my body was good. So when mm -hmm. the, the phone call came and it was like, come on, let's go play some professional basketball, I was like, yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So uh, from, your, from where you started your journey mm -hmm. and till this time, uh, are you full satisfied from your career? No, no. never satisfied. Um, What's the third reason? Uh, well, I mean, because I've succeeded, but um, the as far as in my mind, what I have the capability of doing and what I want to do, uh, mm. I'm nowhere near. Uh, uh, it's crazy, like like just thinking about it. Um, Kobe Bryant is like a really Ooh. he was yeah he was really really big for uh, for me and, and my family and my my dad. You know, what I'm saying my 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 mom she used to yell at yell at the TV all the time because she's not she wasn't a big Kobe Bryant fan and even initially I wasn't a big Kobe Bryant fan mm -hmm. but then just um being a student of the game and realizing like seeing how much he was able to dedicate himself um I think I really oh five oh six mm -hmm. was the year that I really like became a Kobe Bryant fan uh it was oh five oh six or oh four oh five when he didn't have anybody mm -hmm. um and he kept going mm -hmm. he kept fighting mm -hmm. and so um you know, at that point in his career, he had been a, he was a three-time champion. I'm sure he had MVP awards, and he he was one of the youngest basketball players to enter the NBA coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't satisfied, mm -hmm. and I haven't done anything like that. You know, <laughs> um, I, I pride myself on being able to spread positive energy and love, mm -hmm. and um, 
and just kind of just reaching and touching as many people as possible. Um, and it, it's bigger than basketball for me. But as far as accolades and the things that I've accomplished, I'm so thankful that God's put me um, here in this position and given me the opportunity to succeed the way I have. Mm -hmm. And uh, and even just with the sponsorships, the connections, the celebrity friends, just the, all the situation that I have right now, I'm mm -hmm. super thankful for. But mm -hmm. I'm not even... I'm not even close, man. I want to do so much more. Oh. I want to do so much more. You want so much from your yeah. life. Yeah. yeah, I got it, bro. Uh, best of luck for that. Thank you so <laughs> much. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> okay, uh, you mentioned, just, you just mentioned before about Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. uh, his diet uh, scene is not just only his diet scene, but uh, it's, we have lost our one uh, singular era of his legendary era. Mm -hmm. Do you think that? So what uh, basketball players uh, should learn about his life? Um, I think, uh, dang, I'm going to get emotional. Uh, oh, you're getting emotional. Yeah, Take your time. Just, Take your yeah time. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. I just, uh, I think, uh, I, I don't believe that God makes mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think, when I think about Kobe Bryant and his greatness, mm -hmm. in some aspect, like some of the stuff that, uh, some of the just the stories that you hear, mm -hmm. the, it almost seems unrealistic that this was a real human being, that this person yeah. was really here. Yeah. Somebody that poured 100,000% mm -hmm. into what it is that they, they did. Um, mm -hmm. I think there was a, um, a quote that, mm -hmm. I cannot remember who it was, that said just recently, um, and it was like uh, Kobe Bryant had came to his school and he said, uh, you know, if you want to do something, you know, mm -hmm. put all your eggs in one mm -hmm. basket. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if it doesn't work, then find more eggs. Mm -hmm. Like just that type of mentality, the that the the mama mentality, the the don't fail. Like and that's that's kind of like something I hold over my life. Me and my dad, it, the whole time I was growing up, mm -hmm. if you're not first, then you're last. Mm -hmm. And uh, just the, the 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 mindset of being able to see something, see a goal, and give more than a hundred percent to get to that goal. I think that's the biggest thing to take away. Um, and so with Kobe Bryant passing, I just think it's just like, I always look at life as like a book, you know? And this type of person is just like so like amazing. Like how else would you have seen him passing? You know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have seen him, uh, and Lord forbid, like die of cancer, die of old age. Mm -hmm. He was a rock star. Yeah. You know, he went out in Blazing Gory. We've been seeing him in the, in the news these last couple of weeks, him and um, rest in peace, Gigi. Um, but him spending quality time with his daughters, um, and it just, it's a beautiful thing because you have this, such a masculine human being mm -hmm. and he has all, all daughters and, uh, this, the whole, uh, the whole concept of, uh, of, uh, a girl dad, mm -hmm. that's fucking, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's dope, man. That's dope. I think women should definitely, uh, it's just giving, showing that somebody can be at this level and how important women are in our world. And it just, the story was, is complete. Mm -hmm. It's completely. Is this obviously a thousand more things that we would want from Kobe Bryant if we were able to have more time mm -hmm. with him? But mm -hmm. I think we should definitely be thankful for the time that we had him here. Yeah. And I know that um, his spirit is definitely, if it doesn't live on anybody else, it definitely live on with me with yeah. uh, with my work ethic and the mm -hmm. things I want to accomplish in this world. Yeah, it's uh, not just about NBA. It's the whole basketball world will miss him yeah. so much, and we have we have lost our legendary uh, the Kobe Bryant, but. Basketball world will always miss him. He's, he will be in always our heart. Yeah, always, <laughs> always. Okay, um, uh, Malky. So uh, you are come from you are, no no you have come here for our basketball for world. They are organizing in such a, uh, very big events and very it's going to be nice because uh, they named it basketball party in Nepal. Yeah, it's a very good first time in here. So uh, uh, when you came to Nepal. How you enjoy it, and how you how do you enjoy our people's some greatness, some uh, respect, some <laughs> appreciation? Man, um, it's a it's a different world here. <laughs> I'm from from America. I, uh, my my mom and dad were both in the military, um, and I was able to I had the blessing to be able to live in a bunch of different parts of the world, um, and. 
this is different, man. It's <laughs> different, man. It's like, uh, I can see like the hip hop culture is like, it's really, really big here. Mm -hmm. Like I go into like a bunch of different restaurants and hear like Drake mm -hmm. and like hear like all these, uh, you know, modern hip hop songs and stuff. But then like just being out on the street, seeing like the different cars, you guys got a bunch of like Suzuki's and like mm -hmm. these little like, and in Spain, the cars are smaller than America, but here the cars really? are, yeah, way Ooh. smaller than America. Ooh. But here the cars are way smaller than cars in Spain. <laughs> but um, I would say, um, as far as the people go, it's a positive energy out here. It's like positive, it's happy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure you guys don't get a lot of black guys out here. <laughs> so as I, uh, but the, I, the embrace hasn't been, it's been a warm embrace. Like, you know, even when I'm walking down the street, people are looking like, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what he's doing here, but it's not. It's not like a like. Oh, I wonder what he's doing here. It's like ah, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so um, no, it's it's been cool. Every time I get introduced to somebody, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna stay. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> I, I like to hug. So um, I was just like meeting some of the important people and right. shaking their hands, and I mm -hmm. I hug them, mm -hmm. and I can tell that in you all's uh, culture, it's not something that you do, mm -hmm. but because the love is so pure here, mm -hmm. I've always been welcome with warm embrace, and like they hug me and they grip me kind of tight, and it's. It's love. Right? That's one thing I can say is uh, the people are super happy, super peaceful. Um, mm -hmm. and it's, it's good vibes, man. Good mm -hmm. vibes and good energy here. We are glad to hear you, you, hear, you in here. We are very glad on that. Because uh, Nepalese people, uh, uh, very, they are very emotional. Yeah. And they are sort of, you know, something like uh, uh, whoever our guest, whoever will be our guest, uh, always they have tried to uh, treat them well. And yeah, no, you guys do a wonderful job, yeah. man. Wonderful. I was just at uh, I was just at two different schools, and mm -hmm. I was able to. Um, there's a tournament going on right now, a basketball tournament, mm -hmm. and I was able to go by the basketball tournament. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Ah, I love kids, man. I love like because the kids is like the purest form of energy. So just being out there, man. I think I was out there for about an hour and some change, mm -hmm. signing autographs and high fiving and dancing, man. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> People here, and you can tell. You can tell by the kids. You can tell by the look in their eyes, and and like they just get up every single day, going to school and working hard to, to help better the country, help better. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the image of I think Nepali people. Mm -hmm. um, people are here. They're happy. You know, and they work for each other. They work together. I've been out here. The roads aren't the best. <laughs> the roads aren't the best. But every day that I'm outside, I see people helping people, people communicating with people, people giving real love and positive energy, and people helping to better this country. And um, I think that that's what um, Carlos and, and, and Sport for the World is about. And I'm just thankful to be able to be out here as an extended arm of, of, of him, and yeah. I'm thankful for the warm embrace uh, to be here, so. Okay, uh, Marky, the, uh, our uh, conversation is going to be more fun. Yeah. So uh, we are uh, taking a short commercial break, and then we'll be come back, okay. and uh, we'll talk about our three and three basketball. All right, let's do okay. it. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start commercial break, and we'll be definitely right back, and uh, we'll conversation about something about more like our three on three basketball tournament, which is holding on Triple Resort Cover uh, Cover Hall, National Cover Hall, Rangasala, and you have to come there. And we'll be back in soon. Uh, so keep watching Action Sports ST. So guys, we are back after a short commercial break, and I'd like to welcome back again our guest. Marky Smith is from Ismen and AK is also known as Splashy. Okay, yeah. we have to, a lot of fun. Don't we? Welcome back, hey, Smith. Man, what's up, baby? So um, we had, we were talking about just uh, uh, just off before commercial break. We were talking about our uh, three on three basketball tournament, which is holding on first February. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, Carlos Mendrique. He's yeah, nice guy. My guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what do you uh, what do you think about him and his uh, uh, such a dedication? His kind of a uh, lot of potentiality in basketball. His thoughts uh, be, because he's a foreign. He's a foreigner for us. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, he came in Nepal and he's doing well for well for us Nepal. He's doing well for our basketball, Nepalese basketball mm -hmm. especially. So, uh, how do you think? Uh, how do you judge about? Um, well, I, I first met him uh, last summer um, in 2019, and he had invited me because he does um, some coaching out, um, out in Villa Sar. Mm -hmm. And so he invited me to his camp, and um, man, I was doing stuff with the kids there. He, he came up to me and said, mm -hmm. 
I gotta take you to Nepal. Oh, he my said, God. He said that. He said, yeah. How was your reaction? Yeah, I, I mean, initially, you know, I have so many conversations with business. So when he told me, I'm like, I would love to. I love the opportunity to go to a different place. But um, we were able to. Um, we were able to create a, a relationship and we kept talking and he was just telling me like, hey man, I'm doing stuff in this country, man, that they, they have the potential to be so great. And I go there every year to try to help out. Um, and I actually help coach the national team there. And for me, I'm, I move on good energy and positive vibes, man. If I, if I don't feel a positive vibe, if I don't feel good energy, then I can't do business with somebody. And the fact of the matter that I'm here should show that, uh, that uh, yeah, Carlos is, he's, He's nice yeah, guy. he's the he's real deal, man. man. He's the real deal, man. Yeah. And um, I think that, uh, like he was telling me before I leave, he said I'll be Nepali. <laughs> he said you're gonna. <laughs> it's 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 something uh, about the culture here that um, that's mm -hmm. infect infectious, mm -hmm. um, and he definitely has that um, a part of him. Mm -hmm. This is one of the reasons that he's so passionate about doing things out here. Mm -hmm. So now I definitely have a wonderful, wonderful vibe, wonderful feel for him, um, and uh, I think that's a reflection of what you guys have here um, mm -hmm. as. There's Nepali people. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, man. So, um, I was thinking, um, uh, I have to tell about our basketball scenario because uh, we are crazy about basketball. In, yeah, uh, you're in good craze, you, uh, the basketball craze are good uh, craze in here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, everyone, everyone wants to play basketball, but uh, they are. Uh, uh, they are not able to play basketball in out of valley, you know. Uh, yeah. There is uh, uh, there is not just only about Kathmandu. It's a whole. It's, uh, we are talking about whole Nepal, mm -hmm. whole Nepal's basketball scenario. Uh, it's not uh, a good. I think it's not good. Mm -hmm. So uh, what uh, we should do on the basketball, uh, which makes to our basketball is more popular to make um, popular. Well, I think. Um, for I, I can say, um, especially in Spain, mm -hmm. um, Spain at one point in time the basketball wasn't it wasn't a big mm -hmm. it was I don't even think it was like the second third mm -hmm. um, it didn't have that much popularity but uh, I think when Michael Jordan came to Barcelona in '92 mm -hmm. um, and just people being able to see mm -hmm. the potential of what basketball can bring the excitement the happiness mm -hmm. the um, the sport like. Um, the camaraderie, mm -hmm. the even the um, the having opponents being because mm -hmm. in, in Spain the basketball the way it's set up is there are a bunch of different clubs mm -hmm. and so if I am part of the FC Barcelona club, mm -hmm. uh, more or less I hate Madrid and if I'm part of the, the the Real Madrid team then I hate Barcelona. But it's a, it's a love for the sport, it's a respect for the basketball culture, mm -hmm. but it's it's great to be a part of something and uh, mm -hmm. I think that that's really really cool for the people that are here in K Town. There's mm -hmm. a bunch of different areas, mm -hmm. and eventually when the basketball does get to that level, mm -hmm. and not to put myself in the same likeness as Michael Jordan, but mm -hmm. um, I think having me out here, mm -hmm. and then eventually in the future having other basketball players come out here. I know that um, Nowitzki, Nowitzki, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's come he's come out here before, uh -huh. but. Having a, a wave of basketball players come, um, first off, it, it, it's going to inspire the youth. It's going to mm -hmm. inspire the, because being out there, I was, saw, I was seeing kids at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 years old mm -hmm. that are playing basketball and they have a love for the sport. You can see it in their eyes. Mm -hmm. um, but they're going to grow up, they're going to keep playing basketball. Mm -hmm. And eventually they're going to inspire the youth mm -hmm. and just keeping a steady flow of Having somebody come out here, even us taking people from here mm -hmm. and um, taking them to other places, and just uh, mm -hmm. being able to be a part of that basketball culture, I definitely think it's gonna it's gonna make it better. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. something I can say, like any kids that are out here watching mm -hmm. this, yo, if if you have a love for the game, don't let anything stop you from playing basketball. Mm -hmm. You don't even. There's um I I've read so many stories about players that mm -hmm. don't have mm -hmm. even a basketball hoop mm -hmm. that just go home with a basketball and just visualize a hoop. Mm -hmm. I've done it before. I've been in situations where I didn't even have a basketball. Mm -hmm. It just just dribbling in the air and just doing like mm -hmm. certain moves and mm -hmm. and it's just it's something that nobody's gonna stop you. If you wanna go do it, mm -hmm. then you can go do it. You just gotta put the work in, you gotta believe it in here, mm -hmm. believe it in here. So we have to grow up them, we have to grow up our next generation uh, uh, from grassroots level. Yeah. And schools level yeah, yeah, and yeah. college level as well. Yeah. So that's the biggest thing. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. What yeah, we, let's no, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got a bunch of faith, man. Yeah. From, from what I saw in just the two schools that I went to, and even yeah. just, you guys have a basketball tournament. Mm. There's a tournament going on right now with, uh, I think it was like eight or nine different schools from all over, um, from all over the, the, the area. Mm -hmm. That's, 
what you guys are doing right now, that is the way to, mm -hmm. to make basketball better. It's mm -hmm. not about having the nicest basketball court. It's not about, from, from hard work mm -hmm. and the love of the sport, mm -hmm. basketball is definitely going, the culture is going to get better and mm -hmm. everything's going to rise. Mm -hmm. So um, when uh, we try to get that, basketball will go in such a nice track Most and definitely. implement a way. In Nepali basketball, I'm taking For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, okay, uh, you're going to show Dong So. In yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. The I'm really yeah. about that, man. It's gonna be crazy. Man. Oh. It's gonna be crazy. I'm uh, so I'm a, I'm a professional basketball yeah. player, but I'm the dunk champion in Spain. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a professional dunker, mm -hmm. um, but I do have. No. But I do have that. <laughs> I do have the ability. But people love to watch. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> that's the thing is is uh, and that's one of the parts of basketball, just the yeah. being in the culture. It's yeah. like uh, it's like somebody kicks a, a ball and scores a goal, mm -hmm. um, but it's a different type of goal, man. <laughs> it's a, a, something about the dunk that brings energy that's just uh -huh. it's different it can change the uh -huh. it's only two points uh -huh. but it's two points that matters uh -huh. it's 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 a it's a point in the game where it can change the total momentum uh -huh. somebody dunks on your best player uh -huh. stares them all stares them down uh -huh. before going it just it just changes things and so uh, i'm thankful uh I'm thankful that I have that ability. Um, I really worked hard to be able to jump. I, I couldn't jump and dunk when I was even like 17 and 18. I only had one dunk in high school, um, but I kept working on my legs, kept working on my body, and, uh, and I always saw it. I always visualized seeing myself like doing these things, and now I'm in a position where uh, I fly. Uh, uh, Marky Smith? Yes, sir. AKA? AKA. <laughs> Spassy? Yeah. Uh, I want to know more thing, more something about you. So, uh, how could you define yourself? What type of kind of you are? Um, how would I describe myself? <laughs> um, I'm man, peace, positive, uh, love, and energy. Man, I'm pure energy. That's what I feed off of the energy. Um, if if you guys come out to the event, you'll see that uh, I love. I love the energy from kids. I love the energy from people. Um, and I like, I like the show. I love the lights. I like the cameras, the action. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, and I live for, live for moments like that. So um, it's like I said, it's more than just basketball for me. But um, anytime you have the ability to exchange energy with people and give them good, <laughs> real love and real positive energy, that's something that um, I think people hold on to for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. um, and so I try to um, take advantage of that mm -hmm. as much as I can. So if, you, if there's anything that you know, should know about me, uh, like you said, splashy. So mm -hmm. splashy for me is, is like, it's a, it's a wave, splashy the wave. I have, a, I have a clothing line in America named splashy the wave. Uh, shout out to my guys, Eddie and uh, Sam. <laughs> but, um, and it's, it's just, it's just the, the concept of, you know, like, like a wave is just, it's a solid movement and it's, it's peace, it's energy, and it's, um, and when I say splashy, I'm talking about style, I'm talking about your swagger, the way that you carry yourself. And uh, I believe in myself mm -hmm. and uh, I know who I am. And so in that regard, I carry myself with a certain type of swag. It's like, I got that like US swag on me, but it's just different. And uh, it's about, like I said, believing in, believing in yourself and, and uh, not letting anybody get you off of being yourself. Be the best you that you can be, and that's what I try to do. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if I say anything about me, I'm me. Oh. I'm Marquis Smith. I was born this way, yeah. and I love being me. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Man. Yeah, <laughs> and I, that's what I want to do. I want to inspire people not to be me, but inspire them to be the best version of themselves. Uh, and okay. to do that through pure love and a good energy. Yeah. So, um, uh, we are. So um, uh, um, let's talk about your further plans. So uh, how how you how you to looking forward in your career? So what are the, your further plans? What are my further plans? plans? Um, being on the plane on the way here, mm -hmm. uh, I think it was like it's a very pivotal moment for me right now in my life. I'm 27, mm -hmm. and uh, I've been in Spain the last three years. And I, I used to travel a lot just um, being in the military and whatnot, but being coming out here, it just opens your eyes. It's a whole world out here, man, it's, and it's a beautiful world. Mm -hmm. And this place is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And all the other places I've been are beautiful, and I want to I experience more of that. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to be working a lot more with um, Sport for the World. I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna allow basketball to take me mm -hmm. to a bunch of different places. That's what I think of basketball is so cool, man, because it, it's a vehicle, man. It's not about basketball. It's mm -hmm. about the things that you can do. Mm -hmm. It's like a key. It's mm -hmm. like a, being able to speak a bunch of different languages. It just allows you to connect with people that you wouldn't have the uh, normal ability to do, mm -hmm. uh, normal opportunity to, to connect with. 
And so my further plans, um, I want to continue enjoying my life. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely down to make some money. Yeah, I've been doing uh, acting and modeling um, mm -hmm. back in, in Barcelona, Spain. So I've been doing a lot of commercials. Mm -hmm. so my, my beard is gone. I just did a salmon commercial. Uh, but doing some acting, doing some modeling. Uh, I want to definitely want to get into yeah. some movies. Um, I am right now the number one comedian <laughs> in uh, in Spain, uh, mm -hmm. number one English speaking comedian. Um, there's a great uh, uh, there's a great scene uh, English speaking yeah. English speaking comedy scene in Barcelona, Spain. So I'm thankful to be a part of that. I'm gonna keep uh, continue to do comedy. I'm trying to do some stand up comedy out here in Nepal um, oh. before I get ready to leave. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, man, a lot of traveling. Acting, modeling, basketball. I want to make some money along the way um, and make some friends and uh, just see how beautiful this world is. Oh, that's uh, that's the plan. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, okay, it uh, we are uh, close to the end of this show. So, okay. man, uh, do you want to some? Do you want to do some appeal? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, hey. Come out to the event, baby, on the 1st. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm happy to be out here in K-Town. We're going to hold it down. It's going to be a wonderful show. We're going to do three-on-three -three competition. I think we're going to do like a three-point shootout. I'm going to put on a dunk show. Um, bring the kids out, moms, dads, aunts, uncles, grandparents. Uh, bring the cows. I, I like, I, I, I've been seeing a couple of cows and stuff walking. Cows can come. Cows are welcome. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a wonderful event. Uh, thank you guys for allowing me to be here. Uh, super humbling experience. Super thankful to be out here. If you see me in the street, say hi. I'm going to say hi back. Maybe we can do a picture or something. Uh, um, I can say my Instagram. You guys can follow me on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. First off, follow Sport for the World. Um, Sport for the World is with the number four. Sport for the World. And then follow me on Instagram at Splashy underscore K-W-E-E. -E. Um, hopefully they'll be able to put it down here. Uh, yeah, no, nah, that's it, man. Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you so much, Splashy. Yeah. So, uh, I told you before, yeah. we are very glad to be having you here mm -hmm. with me and our team as well. So, uh, nice to meet you once thank again. You. Nice to, to meet you. you. Thank well, you, man. I brother. I appreciate you. So, uh, I wish you good luck. Yes, sir. You know, our three on three basketball. Team. You as well, man. You're doing a great job, man. This is a nice little studio <laughs> that you guys got here. I appreciate you having me here. Hey, splash it away, baby. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, it was the sports hour, and the guest was our Marky Smith. He is a professional basketball player. Uh, he was uh, drafted in NBA also in 2015. Uh, he's in Nepal, so he's going to show dunk show in our 3-on-3 three -three basketball tournament, which is held in 1st February, uh, Tirpura Sur Cover Hall, National Cover Hall. And keep uh, loving uh, basketball, keep support basketball, and you have to come here and enjoy more we have to a lot of we have to a lot of events so it's going to be exciting and definitely i hopefully you will come there and uh, you to enjoy so it's time to end sports out and very thank you so much um, you support us and keep supporting us and definitely we will be back soon so another we have another another exciting guest it will be next in our episode so thank you so much uh, keep watching actually so sd Namaskar.